so let's install butler on linux to do that simply open a new terminal window and here we're going to write this command over here i have added this command in the description of this video so you can copy that from there and paste it into your terminal and then press enter it will download the linux version of butler for you okay so once downloaded go to the folder where you have downloaded the butler it's going to be a zip file named butler let's extract this zip file and i'm going to copy this to my softwares folder and inside of this folder there are just three files and this is the main one that we're going to use to execute commands of butler okay one last thing that you have to do is to add butler to the path so that you can use it from anywhere in your system to do that we're going to edit the bash rc file I'm going to say sudo i'm going to use nano to edit the bash rc file and then bash rc then i'm going to type in my password and at the end of this file we're going to write export path equals to dollar sign path and then here goes the path of this uh, directory okay so we can press ctrl l to get the full path of this and then just simply paste that in and close the ports and then we save this and then exit out by using ctrl x and now in a new terminal window you should be able to use butler like this and if it shows some kind of output like this then it means that it is working and you have completely set up the butler on linux okay now let's set up butler on windows so first you're going to go to the butler's istio page the link is in the description and there you're going to download butler for windows 64 bit or 32 bit depending upon your system i'm going to download the 64 bit click on download and it's going to download the butler in a second so once it's downloaded it is going to be a zip file like this let's extract it and i'm going to rename this folder to something like butler there are also three files over here and this is the one that we are going to use now let's add this directory to the system environment variables so that we can use this from command line or from anywhere so to do that i'm going to search for environment variables and go to the edit the system environment variables and then click on this button and we're going to add the system variables and we're going to edit the path over here so let's edit this we're also going to copy this directory so let's right control l copy this create a new entry and simply paste it here and press enter and we are just going to close all of these windows by pressing ok and if i open a cmd now it should be working so if i say butler it prints this output that means it is working okay so now that the butler is all set and ready to go we're now going to use it to actually upload our builds to istio so here i have created a very basic project here if i run this it's basically just prints a hello world if i click on this button so now let's export this i'm going to be exporting it for the web and it's going to be exported inside of this build folder let's export and here is the exported game now let's push this to h.io using butler so here i'm going to right click and open this build folder in terminal and in the terminal we are going to simply say butler push and first is the directory that you want to upload to butler which is going to be my current directory as i am already in the build directory and the target which is going to be the username of your h.io slash and the name of the game which is butler tutorial I have also created this project inside of istio that i am going to use to upload the game and this is going to be name of your game okay now we are also going to add a colon without any space and we're going to specify the channel of this build so these are windows linux mac or html in our case and basically this is all done you can add another optional thing which is the user version and you can define your custom versions like this uh, by default butler adds its own version system which is like 0, 1, 2, 3. okay so once you have done that we are going to press enter also when you use this command for the first time it will ask you to authorize butler with h.io basically it's just going to open a link in the browser and you just press the red button called authorize butler and it is done now we can head over to this page and reload this page and you'll see that build is now published as you can see and if i run this game this is the simple project that i had created in godot and if i click this button it's going to say hello world now let's say i just want to change something in this project for example 
let me just change the message to say hello h.io and again export this project again and then open terminal again and here i can simply use the same command again but instead of doing point 0.1 i'm going to increment the number by one and if i press enter it's just going to load the changes that i have made since the last version and it's going to be a lot quicker than before and as you can see it's already done and if i go back into this and reload this it's actually going to load the game again and as you can see it has added the 0.0.2 zip file of the game and if i run this it should display the second message that i added which is hello h.io okay so if i click this button as you can see it says hello h.io it has been updated successfully that means it's working and that's basically how you can use butler to upload your games to h.io I hope it was helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.